So first we're gonna select the records and this is the custom button that will execute the function. So just click on it. And then we get this message indicating that the function was executed on all the records. Hi everyone, Andy here. And as you saw in the intro today, we're gonna create a button that will execute a function on all the records that you select. All right, let's get started. In the description below, you will find a link that will open this article where you will be able to find a step-by-step -step tutorial as well as the function that we're gonna be using today. So we're gonna be doing two things. First, we're gonna create a function and then we're gonna create a button that will execute that function. And the function itself can be separated in two sections. We have a section one, which will generate a list of the records that we wanna trigger the function on. And then as you can see in yellow, we have the part that's gonna make the changes to the records. So for this example, we're going to update a date field to today's date. All right, so let's start with creating the function. Let's go to the setup page and then click on functions here. And then new function. And we're gonna name it and add a display name. And then this is really important. The category has to be a button. Now click on create. And now we're gonna go back to the article and copy the function. And back to the function itself and paste it here in the body. So if the function that you want to execute on the records is different than mine, you have to replace this section with the function you want. Also in this case, we're only using one argument, which is the ID argument, and we're gonna map it in a second. But if your new section has more arguments, you're gonna have to map them all. All right, so let's click on edit argument, and then we're gonna do ID, and it's gonna be a string, and click on save. And that's pretty much it on the function. As you can see here, this function is for the deals module and we're gonna update the contract sign field. These are the API names that the module and the field have. I have other videos on this channel that I will link in the description that you should watch if you don't understand this part. All right, let's click on save. And now we're gonna move on to part two that would be creating the button. For that, we're gonna go to customization here and then modules and fields. And then we're gonna open the module where we wanna place the button. In my case, it's a deals module. Now click on links and buttons, and then we're gonna click on new button. For the name, I'm gonna use contract sign. And then where to place the button, we're gonna select list view mass action menu. And then for the action, we're gonna click on existing actions. And then we're gonna click and configure on the function that we just created. And finally, we're gonna map the deal ID here with this ID. So deals is already selected, and here we're gonna do deal ID. Click on save, and finally save. The button has been created, so let's go to the deals module. And here I have a few test deals. So I'm gonna open one. And as you can see, we don't have any contract sign date. So let's go back, and I'm gonna select this one and the next one. And this one, and what we're gonna do is click on contract sign, the new button that we just created. And we get the message. So we're gonna close this. And now if you open the software consulting deal and scroll down, we can see that the contract date has changed. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up. Also, let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. I have other videos about Soho Serum on this channel, so feel free to check them out. Thanks for watching.